I'm a digital artist from Southern California. I'm going to show you how I painted this. Let's check the interwebs for a reference of Ryan Gosling. All right. I'm not sure about doing a full body. I think I just want to do more of a bust. And I like one of these earlier images. Let's go with this one. I like this. I should be able to extract it from the background. After gathering the reference, I created a simple outline in Procreate. This is the same method I use for drawing, painting, and all different sorts of mediums. I start with an outline as a guide, really, but even in this style that I use, it's an element and the outline will always lay over top of the piece and reinforce all of the important details and the important landmarks in the piece. Load in your reference or gather your reference, however that may be, whether it may be copying a still life. After finishing up the outline, I blocked in the color. This is accomplished by color sampling the reference image, and that's there's probably many ways to do that in the different programs. Procreate, you just kind of hold it down and you can color sample it, um, and then you just paint it. And since we've already established an outline, it's like a coloring book basically, so that's kind of fun. The eyes are very important, and coloring the eyes are very important. Just pay attention. <laughs> it's hard to explain in, a, in so many words, but just watch closely. Start by adding the color, then add the pupil, then add a little bit of shadowing. Next, the highlight, which is very, very important. Then the scalera color sample. Make sure to get each side of that, those scaleras colored correctly and sample each side. This is the part of the painting where I hatch and shade in all of the lighting details. And it's a lot of fun. Um, I try to keep it very loose. I have the hatching going in different directions, the style that I developed over the years. When painting the hair, I try to pay attention to the large details. Not every single strand of hair, but the larger areas of shadow and highlights and really try, I really try to define the form. I'm working around and making sure not to neglect the jean jacket and I'm gonna move on to the background next, but um, I wanna keep it loose. The jean jacket is not the center of attention, but I do wanna to try to get an impressionistic feel of that jean jacket quality. I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do for the background because something simple is very desirable in many cases, but I really love the production design for the Barbie film. So I wanted to kind of incorporate maybe a more simplified version of that. At this point, I'm making a second pass at the details, trying to find what the overall quality of the image is going to be. I want to keep this one nice and loose and I think it's turned out pretty successful. This was just reiterating and going back over, adding details, um, incorporating colors from the foreground into the background, and incorporating colors from the background into the foreground. When I'm adding the final details and trying to evaluate whether or not it's right and not looking weird, I flip the canvas. And this is useful in so many different scenarios. Flip the canvas and it gives you fresh eyes. If you like what you see, follow me and subscribe.
to the new content.